Hi everyone. Welcome to Color Conversations with Crawford Street. I'm Tanner and today we're going to be talking about a very sophisticated color in my opinion, um, but also a very homey color. So um, without further ado, today's color is SW7051 Analytical Gray. This is an awesome medium gray. Like I said, it is very sophisticated. I don't, maybe that's what they meant by analy analytical gray. Um, like sometimes the, the names of the colors are very indicative of, of kind of what they give off. And sometimes they're like, I'm not really sure what analytical is supposed to mean. Maybe it makes you think like a very pensive color. I guess that could be true because like I said, it is very sophisticated. Um, we have actually used this in a counseling office. This was uh, the main wall color in a counseling office. Um, so obviously it's very soothing. I hurt my finger by the way, so excuse the ugly band-aid. Didn't even think about that until now. Um, it's a very calming, soothing color but it also has the ability to totally be in a professional environment. It's very, like I said, sophisticated. It's very analytical. Um, so the fun thing was when we used this in the counseling office, it, it did need to be both of those things, right? Professional enough um, to, to, to look structured and, and like you're walking into an actual place of business, but homey enough to immediately upon entering, make people feel welcome and at home and at ease. Um, and so this definitely accomplished both of those. The other cool thing was it, that their main logo had a very vibrant teal color. And this was able to really calm down and mute that color so that then we were able to pull in another halcyon green was actually the color we used. Um, another color another fun color but it wasn't quite as bold as their their logo is um it was like a a sophisticated palette version of their logo um so this gray like i said it played so welcoming and nice and it and it really brought um the it had a very professional grade carpet so it wasn't anything fancy or, or whatever it really brought that up a level. It kind of um, elegantized. I know that's not a word, but it ele it made everything else around it a little more like leveled up. Um, but again, it calmed down also that bright boldness of like we had their their logo in the uh, right when you walked in on this really pretty uh, board. So so it was a great muting color and it was a great um, sophisticated color, but it was also just so welcoming. We ended up using a, a bunch of wood. So if this is kind of your thing, like you are a collector of whatever you see and like, you don't stick to a particular wood tone or metal tone or anything, you are my people, just kidding. I love all kinds of, of, of stuff. So if you like to be matchy matchy, I love you too. Um, but, this this particular environment needed to kind of make a large group of people feel at home, right? So how do we do that? By incorporating lots of different styles in a way that felt intentional. Um, so we had whitewashed wood and we had very dark, deep wood and we had um, ashy gray wood and we had very, very honey orangey wood. Um, and this was the perfect backdrop for all of those woods. We also had um, mixed metals. We had blacks and golds. Um, and so this is just, it is such a nice canvas color that is gray. I mean, it's gray, but it's warm enough that it doesn't feel um, cold. It doesn't feel off putting, it doesn't feel clinical, um, it doesn't feel uh, too industrial. Um, it, it really is a sophisticated version of a medium gray. Um, so, 
and then and then on the exterior obviously so this is a, a perfect example of why if you have a, a bunch of different components and the color that you're thinking of you need it to go with like you say you have a brick and then a stone overlay over the um garage doors or you know like you have a a uh, horizontal siding, but you also have shake siding, and then you also have brick or stone somewhere. When you have so many kind of um, components coming into play on the exterior, something like this that is able to be a great just kind of background player and letting other things take front and center stage, this is a great way to do that. Plus, say you want to have a more bold color in your palette, like maybe you want your shutters to be more vibrant, like we were talking about that that bold kind of teal color, or you want your front door to be a little more vibrant. But in doing so, you need to calm down um, the color palette in a big way, you know, to be able for your house to handle that vibrant color without looking silly um, or out of place. Uh, this is a great way, this is a great color to do that, a great siding color. Um, and so it's, it's just a, a perfect way to use gray on an upscale level. It's because again, oh, it's LRV. I never even said that it's LRV is 47. So true medium. And that's what I was about to say is if you can find a gray that feels sophisticated and just the right amount of warmth, that's a true medium, then you're real. That's why it can incorporate so much, right? It can incorporate warms and cools and deep deeps and just medium deeps and light, light, and just kind of barely getting into color. Like you could have a full, some houses we're actually working um, with someone right now that, that needs maybe a five color palette. And, and this happens often, especially if your house is broken up or has a bunch of different options. Um, a bunch of trim work or whatever. Um, this is where you incorporate a tone like this because then if you needed to go white, white, you've got enough contrast to where you could still have it a white as a trim. You could still have another uh, lighter medium that could fit in between there, um, like, you know, an accessible beige or something like that. Then you could have a, a step above the medium like you know mountain road or whatever and then you can still have things like urbane bronze and like a really 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 deep like this is just a great um balancing um serene inviting homey elegant color elegant gray um so if that is like if i just described how you're wanting your property to feel check out analytical gray um it's it really is so nice it really is so um pretty to look at but it's very subtle again so if you're if you're needing your siding on the exterior or you're needing this if you're looking for something for an accent wall or for a cabinet that's going to stand out and feel strong in color this is not it this is going to be like, I want a more subtle cabinet so that my countertops stand out. This is a beautiful cabinet color to let like your stone, if it had especially some veining or movement in it, this would be a great subtle cabinet color um, and a great subtle siding color. Again, if you want like your brick and stone to really be, do the, the what's standing out. Um, but, but that's like i said if that's what you need in a color for your project then maybe you'd like this and if not if you are not sure about it and you want a sample or you want help confirming um your your opinions or want just a second opinion then reach out we would love to help be a part of your color journey um our our contact information is in the description and um as always if you don't follow along for more color conversations, you should and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.